is the story of how the crab got its shell. And it's a story that started in the Caribbean. But this is how I will tell it, and how I will tell it to you. Once long ago, there was a witch. Now, I don't know how many witches you know, or what you know of how witches work, but when they are creating their spells, their potions, they have to use a lot of special ingredients. They have to use different herbs. They have to use, of course, special words. They use particular minerals, and of course, they use eye of newt, toe of frog, wool of bat, and tongue of dog. And if you're using all those ingredients, you can imagine that it would be quite easy for a witch's house to get a little, how shall we say, messy. So if you visited this witch's house and you walked in, as you walked across the floor, you'd hear a as your feet crushed the eyes of newts that were on the floor. If you leant up against the wall, you would have felt a squelchy feeling because of the tongues of dogs that were sticking there. And if you looked up at the ceiling, you would see something that Shakespeare, for some reason, doesn't mention, and that is bogies stuck to the ceiling. Oh, the witch's house was a mess, and she needed help with the cleaning. So she took a piece of paper and she put it in the forest, stuck to a tree, and the piece of paper said, wanted, help with the cleaning, clean for one week, I will give you half my gold. Wow, half her gold for a week's cleaning? All the animals read the piece of paper, but the first one to knock on her door was the wolf. And the wolf knocked on the witch's door. <coughs> the witch opened her door. <coughs> She said, hello, and the wolf said, can I clean for a week? And the witch said, of course you can. So the wolf came in and he used his beautiful fluffy tail to sweep up the eyeballs from the floor. He used his beautiful fluffy tail to get rid of the tongues of his brothers, the dogs, from the walls. And then he used the very fluffy top of his head to clean the bogies from the ceiling. And after a week, the house was bing, spotless. And the wolf said, Oh, can I have half your gold? And the witch said, Of course you can. But if you want my gold, you must play my game. If you want my gold, what is my name? And the wolf thought about it. A witch's name? What would a witch be called? And so he had a guess, and he said, <laughs> I think your name is Winnie the Witch. And the witch said, No! Wrong! Get out! And so the wolf had to leave with nothing. And as he left the witch's house, he howled, Oh! and his eyes filled with tears, and the tears rolled down his muzzle to his black nose, and then they dropped. But before the wolf's tears could hit the ground, the witch caught the tears in her cauldron. Over the next week, the witch had made a bit of a mess. There were eyeballs on the floor, there were tongues on the walls, and there were bogies on the ceiling. She put up another piece of paper in the forest. It said, wanted, help with my cleaning. Clean for one week, I will give you half my gold. <gasps> half her gold? The animals read it. And the next animal to knock on her door was the rabbit. There was a knock on the door. The witch opened the door. She said, oh. And the rabbit said, can I clean for a week? And the witch said, of course you can. So in bounced the rabbit. And he used his cotton tail to sweep up all the eyeballs. He used his cotton tail to clean off all the tongues. And then he used his long ears to clean the bogies from the ceiling. And then after a week, the house was bing, spotless. And the rabbit said, can I have half your gold? And the witch said, of course you can. But... If you want my gold, you must play my game. If you want my gold, what is my name? Oh, said the rabbit. I don't know. I think your name might be Henrietta. And the witch said, wrong, get out, no gold. And the poor rabbit hopped out of the witch's house. And as he hopped out of the house, his eyes filled with tears and the tears rolled down to his nose and they dropped. But before his tears could hit the ground, as he was jumping, the witch caught the rabbit's tears in her cauldron. Another week, 
another mess. Eyeballs. Tongues. <laughs> Pokies. <laughs> the witch needed a cleaner. <laughs> Wanted help with the cleaning. Clean for one week. I'll give you half my gold. Half her gold. The next animal to knock on her door was the <laughs> cat. The witch opened the door. <laughs> she said, hello. And the cat said, Row. can I clean for a week? And the witch said, of course you can. So in the cat came. And she used her soft paws to play with the, uh, to, sorry, to clean up the eyeballs. She used her soft paws to flick the tongues from the walls. And then she jumped up and ate the bogeys. But at the end of the week, the house was bing, spotless. And the cat said, wow, can I have half your gold? And the witch said, of course you can, but, if you want my gold, you must play my game. If you want my gold, what is my name? And the cat thought about it. Oh, name of a witch. Is it Isabella? And the witch said, no, wrong, get out. So the cat started to slink away. And as it headed for the door, its eyes filled with tears. The tears rolled down its face. But before the tears could drop to the floor, the witch caught the cat's tears in her cauldron. Now, while the witch was making a mess over the next week, another animal was using his brains. And that animal was crab. Now, what do we know about crab? Crab's got lots of legs. Um, crab lives in water normally. Crab's got a shell. Uh, the shell is hard. No, the shell isn't hard. At the beginning of this story, I said once long ago when the world was still young. And when the world was still young, crabs did not have hard shells. They had soft shells. So crabs had to use their brains to stay safe from predators. And this crab used his brain. Because while the witch was making a mess, he went to find the witch's daughter. And the witch's daughter was building a house down by the river. But the witch's daughter had a problem as she built her house. And the problem was that she was a snake. And it's quite difficult to build a house when you're a snake. And so Crab went to the witch's daughter and said, Hello, love. Would you like some help building that house? And the snake said, Yes, please. And so for a week. The crab went down to the river, picked up rocks, brought them back. Down to the river, picked up rocks, brought them back. Down to the river, picked up rocks, brought them back and built the snake a home. And at the end of the week, the snake had a house. And she said, I am so grateful. What can I do for you? And the crab said, well, I suppose you could tell me your mother's name. So the snake whispered, her mother's name in the crab's ear, so that when the witch put up a piece of paper in the forest that said, wanted help with the cleaning, clean for one week, I'll give you half my gold, he was ready to knock on her door. <coughs> the witch opened the door. <coughs> she said, hello. And the crab said, hello, love. Can I clean for a week? And the witch said, of course you can. So the crab came in. And with his pincers, he cleaned up the eyeballs, the tongues, and even ding, the bogies. And at the end of the week, the house was bing, spotless and the crab said now can i have half your gold and the witch said of course you can but if you want my gold you must play my game if you want my gold what is my name and the crab said whoa that's a bit tricky i wonder if your name might be witch of tears and the witch said what how did you know my name she took her gold and she threw it on the ground. The crab went scuttling around the floor, picking up the pieces of gold with his pincers, but the witch was furious. She hadn't finished with him. She picked up a cauldron, which was still full of the animal's tears, and she threw it at the crab. Clang! And the tears of all the other animals made the cauldron stick to the crab's back. And it stayed there and has been there ever since. So now if you see a crab, he probably doesn't have a <laughs> soft shell. Instead, he has a <laughs> hard shell. And that's the story of how the crab got his shell. And that was how I have told it to you. <laughs>